I'm Jim Tate and uh, I'm the vicar of St Catherine's Church in East Acton. And <laughs> I'm Leslie Tate and uh, Jim's wife and the associate minister, which I'm not really sure what that means. It's a lay ministry role, so it sounds like I'm trained, but <laughs> not officially. <laughs> And we lead St Catherine's together. Yeah. Well, this weekend we've been on the New Forms Level 1 training uh, with Peter and uh, we've had a really good time, haven't we? Yeah, it's been, it's been brilliant. Um, I think because for Jim and I leading a kind of Anglican church, we've been feeling the frustration of a really kind of shrinking congregation. And although as a church we're full of life in, in terms of the people that come, and people have got a real heart for God, but it's how do we then help them to then have a heart for the lost? I think the bottom line is if, if you are seeing people come to faith and uh, going on to be disciples, then, uh, then you can say, yeah, you're, you're, you're functioning as the church is meant, meant to be functioning. And if that isn't happening, then, then you're gonna have to really ask yourself some questions because ultimately we want, want to be the church that that Jesus has made us to be, not one that we uh, we think we are uh, or that we create from our own minds. Well, my name is Mrudul, uh, Mrudul Pote, and I'm a housewife taking care of two small children. Uh, when he's going to school, so um, I'm busy with them, basically. Um, uh, basically, I'm just um, with, with my children's, I mean, uh, sons, friends moms I'm talking to them uh, most of them are Hindu and uh, I shared gospel to them um, through I mean I got to them with their sicknesses basically so, uh, one was with a um, back pain couldn't walk even one step and I prayed for her for healing I asked her can I pray for you in the name of Jesus you may get healing uh, you will get healed and I prayed for her and she got healed, she walked straight away, straight to her house and she was like, next, she called me and she said, you know what, I can walk, I could go upstairs um, after you pray, pray for me. Um, but this weekend, um, I really like to know, uh, I mean, I could learn how to go about it, got the direction, like asking questions, do you want to know more about it, about Jesus? and uh, it really helped me actually this weekend. We're, um, I'm Lucy and this is James, my husband. Um, we live on the White City Estate in West London and um, we have for just over a month been exploring um, missional communities and prayer walking our estate. Uh, we've been here Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, it's been training about how to make disciples basically and uh, the different areas, there's sort of seven key stages, there's loads of information, there's a lot to take in, but it's, uh, I think everyone needs to hear it. If, if you believe in God and you're a Christian, I think, I've been going to church for 10 years and I've never heard this before. Okay, my name is uh, Reverend David Taylor, I'm from St. James's in Alperton, and I work with my husband, shared joint curiosity. I think the thing that struck me is that, um, I find it easy to talk to anyone. So to make relationships with anyone is fine. Uh, but talking scripture, bringing scripture and stories about Jesus into conversation, I find really hard. But I think this weekend we've learned something about, actually, if we want friends, uh, then we sow the seeds of friendship. And if we want the kingdom of God, we must sow the kingdom of God. If we want people who know Jesus, we have to talk about it's not enough to talk about everything else and hope that they will somehow gain it from who you are. 